Now, I'm not going to talk about everything regarding the Sith because we would be here all day and I don't have the, you know, computer capability to stream for like four hours. So <laughs> we'll we'll just talk about a general aspect looking at it. So I'm going to miss a few details here, but I'm going to try and give you a, a general idea of everything that I'm talking about. So let's start off by talking about what Dark Jedi are. And again, this is going to bring us back to that Heir to the Empire book that we just talked about. So the Dark Jedi was introduced in the Heir to the Empire book, which was written by Timothy Zahn. And it basically defined the Dark Jedi as any Force user who fell to the dark side. Didn't have to be a Jedi. But any Force user, it could be a witch, it could be just an everyday person or a Jedi, who fell to the dark side became a Dark Jedi. Now, the first Dark Jedi ever, according to Legends novels, was a man named Zendor. Now, Zendor was a former Jedi Knight, and he often spoke out against the Jedi Order because they refused you know, to study all aspects of the Force, like they talk about in the uh, Revenge of the Sith, you know, talking about the narrow views, the dogmatic ways of the Jedi and their teachings. So at this at this time, Z uh, Zendor was specifically talking about Bogon. Bogon was the dark side, the dark ways of the Force, dark magic, that type of dark power capability that the Jedi Order refused to teach. And after many times of his request to teach Bogon to Jedi Academy students, after he failed to have them you know, see their, see his way of things. He broke away from the order. He left the Jedi order and he started his own academy where he could choose to train his students and anything they, he wanted to teach them about. And he taught them about Bogon and they became Bogon wielders, uh, his academy students. And this ultimately, after a couple of years, it led to a war with the Jedi. So there was a huge war against Jedi and Bogon wielders, other, otherwise known as Dark Jedis. Now, of course, the Bogons failed. The Jedi won. They beat the Bogon wielders, but it wasn't the end. It wasn't the end for the Dark Jedi. It was actually the beginning for the Sith. Now, the Sith originally is a race. It wasn't the title for a Dark Jedi or a dark side force user but it was actually a race of of aliens from the planet Korriban and that, that that was on the outer rim now the Korriban is the home of the Sith the original origins of that and this species was adept to the dark side of the force just by being innate to you know their culture being on the outer rim not being open to any other types of cultures and stuff like that and they were adept to that dark side power so a man named Ajunta Paul, excuse me if I got that wrong, he, he actually invaded the planet of Korriban a long time ago, and he merged both Dark Jedi and Sith, and then become he became the first Dark Lord of the Sith. When he invaded, he was a Dark Jedi at the time. He invaded them, he saw that this group of people, this group of Sith species, studied the same things he did. And he brought in his own philosophies and ideals as a dark Jedi, combined the two, and decided to you know pretty much make his own academy there. And he became the first Dark Lord of the Sith. Again, that was a Junta Pal. And I don't have a picture for him. I apologize. Now, not all dark Jedi were Sith. And not all Sith were dark Jedi. Similar to like the Dathomir witches from the Clone Wars. If any of you have seen the Clone Wars, you know that there is... The dark witches of um, Dathomir come in a lot in that show, and that is the female species of the uh, Darth Maul's race that live on Dathomir. Now they are again; they're just like the Sith. They're adept to dark side magic in their own way. They have their their own culture and history with it, but you know they're also adept to it as well. And they are, in some ways, dark Jedi but they don't have the same title because that's how they were born into it. They didn't study any of the other ways to it. They specifically focused on this dark energy. Now we could, we can relate this back to Asajj Ventress as well, because Asajj Ventress never became a Sith. 
she was a dark Jedi because she fell, she fell from the Jedi order or she, she was a force user who fell to the dark side and her goal was to become a Sith. She was always loyal to the Sith, but she herself never became a Sith Lord. And that's another great example of how not all dark Jedi are Sith. So Asajj Ventress is a dark Jedi. Of course, when we think Sith, we always think of Darth Vader and we always think of Palpatine. Those are the two big ones, at least in the movie franchise. But there's also tons more. There's Darth Revan. There's Darth Malak. There's Darth Bishia. There's tons. There's a huge Lord. Knights of the Old Republic gave us so much of that stuff, which is great. But one thing I want to talk about, actually, which is kind of maybe a little controversial, but it does have to do with the original trilogy, and that is Luke Skywalker. Is Luke Skywalker a dark Jedi? All of us love Luke at least hope so. If you don't like Luke Skywalker, I, I often wonder what, what is wrong with you. <laughs> I love Luke Skywalker. You love Luke Skywalker. We're going to talk about him in the original trilogy. Now, in Return of the Jedi, when he comes back at the beginning of the film at Jabba's Palace, he's wearing not his normal clothes, not his white heroic purity clothes. He's wearing dark robes. What is the significance of this? Well, for one, it was to tease his turn to the dark side in that movie. At the time when that movie came out, there was a lot of question that Luke turned to the dark side to join his father, that Darth Vader would force him to turn to the dark side, and many other possibilities as well. Or he would destroy his father so he could take over as the new emperor and stuff like that. Well, they didn't end up being true. The possibility back then was that he would turn. Now, it's also another possibility that George Lucas, Lawrence Kasdan, and all the other creators of the original trilogy didn't actually know what attire a Jedi would wear at that time because they hadn't established that world yet. You know, this was a new era for Star Wars. So it could be that they were like, hey, black looks cool. Let's put it on. But I want to talk about something a little bit riskier to his dress code in Return of the Jedi, and that is that he is a dark Jedi. We have seen Luke Skywalker use force abilities that seem to be not of the old Jedi way, whether it's High Republic, whether it's the prequel movies. You know, he didn't have those type of teachings as old Academy students did, such as Obi-Wan and Anakin and all that kind of stuff. So he has to learn the force in his own manner. We saw in The Last Jedi, he uses one of the, one of the most powerful force powers ever to transport himself across the galaxy to save what's little left of the resistance. So he studies the Force on his own. He's He has his own teacher, which is really cool. But are some of the Force powers that he used, would they be against the Jedi way back during the High Republic or the New Republic era? I would think so. And I think this tease is that Luke Skywalker could be a dark Jedi. Not to say that he's a bad guy, but that his powers aren't limited and he can really do whatever he wants to. Now, one thing that's very interesting about the end of Return of the Jedi, when Luke Skywalker saves his father, after, after he fights him, after the Emperor is thrown off the balcony, and once they get down to the ship and his father begins to die, if you look at the picture on the screen here, Luke Skywalker is helping take off his mask, and his robes start to fold off, and you see what's on the inside of his robe is actually white. And a little bit of white shines from Luke's outfit. Now this is very apparent that it was to tease that he could have possibly gone to the dark side of the force. But because his father was redeemed, because of Vader's karma, which we talked about last week, because he redeemed his father, he was able to redeem himself himself. 